as everyone knows, if you grow a tomato, one of the worst things that gets on your tomato plants are hornworms. They're a big fat caterpillar that will devour a, a plant in no time at all. I picked off two last weekend, as you can see in these photos. They're hard to see. They blend right in with the plant, you know, as a protective coloration. The best thing to see is damage to the plant. And then look for little poops. So I, so I picked off two last week. But there were more, and they escaped me. And I went hunting for them tonight. We're out here at the tomato patch because something is eating some of my tomatoes, and I'm fairly certain I know what it is. But I can't find them. And here's an example of a tomato that has been eaten on. Well, come off there. See? Something has eaten the whole bottom out of it. And eaten some leaves off. And I have a neat trick on how to find them. I think I know what it is. But we adjust my little headlamp here. And there we are in the ultraviolet range. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. My headlamp sucks. All right. I also have a flashlight. You can see how the ribbon lights up. It's an ultraviolet color. And my shoes light up. They've got some neon colors to them. But anyway, as you can see, with the light, here's a plant leaf and it turns purple. And I have a yellow filter here that filters out the blueness of it and changes what you see. And I'll be wearing that. It's interesting. Here's a Here's a leaf. Let me get the right here. I'll just pull the dang leaf off. Now, when the uh, let me adjust my filters here. Please excuse me. When the uh, light shines on the leaf, all you see is the purple. And if I put the filter over the camera, and shine the light on the leaf, You no longer see the purple, you'll see that it iridesces a red color. And what we're looking for are called hornworms. They're a big fat caterpillar. And with this light and this filter, you get the plant iridescing a red color fluorescing, excuse me, the plant fluoresces a, this red color. And the worms, should I find some, fluoresce a different color. Whereas, you know, if you look at them in the sunlight, 
they're going to be practically the exact same color as the plant, as the tomato, as everything, because it's a protective coloration for them. I don't see him, but I know he's here. We'll proceed on to another plant because I've not tested this very thoroughly. I read about it on the internet. But yeah, here we go. Plant is all purpley colored and with the lens that blocks out the purple on me, it becomes very red colored and look how bright that guy is. Just glowing neon green. And he is a tobacco hornworm. Hey, there's one. There he is. Look at that. I saw him from like five feet away. All right. That's just fabulous. That is just fabulous. How well he glows. And if I put my lens in front of the camera again, he glows even better. Because it, it filters out the purple on other things. That's my secret weapon for finding these guys. Just come out here in the dark and bring your mosquito repellent. All right, I'm gonna go get some gloves and get these guys off here. For tonight's bug hunt, I used three different things. I used my flashlight headlamp thing. It has a UV setting, but it didn't work very good. It wasn't bright enough to film, and it, it's apparently the wrong wavelength to light these bugs up the way this did, which I got off of, I don't know, Amazon or eBay or something. This was 395 nanometers wavelength. I'm sure a broader spectrum would work, but I would make sure if you're going to try this, it includes this wavelength. 395 nanometers and I also had my yellow lens safety glasses that I found for free in a Cadillac in a junkyard but you can pick up a pair they're available here and there they're pretty cheap and that's all I used thanks for watching like share and subscribe and uh have a swell day.